as researchers race to find a vaccine for COVID-19, scientists have discovered a steroid is a promising treatment for some of the most severe cases. CBS News' Rachel Kim talked to a doctor about its potential. It's certainly early exciting data. Dr. Stephen O'Day is the executive director of the John Wayne Cancer Institute at Providence St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica. He's been involved in COVID-19 clinical trials and believes the results of a new study out of England is encouraging news. Researchers there found a commonly used steroid called dexamethasone reduced the risk of death by a third among the sickest hospitalized patients. Obviously, it's the first drug to show actual mortality improvement and so it's a very strong signal. So right now we don't have details on the study. What we do know is that patients who were on respirator support or required oxygen to treat their disease in a hospital setting appeared to benefit. In the study, dexamethasone was given either orally or through an IV. It was shown to be effective in patients with advanced COVID-19. Dr. O'Day says that's because steroid drugs reduce inflammation, which can develop in patients as the immune system overreacts to fight the infection. And what we've learned is that COVID is a very specific viral infection that has its more unique qualities. And this very intense inflammation, what we call cytokine storm, very late in the course of the disease may be, in this case, responsive to steroids. The study's results showed that the steroid did not appear to help patients in the early stages of COVID. In fact, uh, that may make things worse because we know early steroids during early viral infections suppress the immune system and can allow the virus to proceed. The other thing is steroids can cause increase in other infections. One of the study's leaders said the survival benefit of the steroid is clear, so dexamethasone, which is inexpensive and widely available, should now become the standard of care in very sick patients. But I, I think you're going to get increased use of this in, in, in sick hospitalized patients uh, who require oxygen and ventilation. We want to see the data clearly in much more detail than we've seen it now, but it, it could definitely be a game changer. Dr. O'Day says if dexamethasone is adopted by the medical community, it would potentially be added to other drugs like remdesivir as a treatment for COVID-19. He's very optimistic fewer patients will die of this disease with new treatments coming as we wait for a vaccine. Rachel Kim, CBS2 News.